Hey everyone, Wesker here, and today we're going to talk about Melee Amara and what, what skills are good for her, which ones are not, and what you should build, what you should get, and just how to play her on Melee overall. So, without, without further ado, let's go. So, her action skills. As you can see, she has three skill trees just like every other character and our main tree is this one the phase slam one and but before we start on it let's see her other skills on phase cast we don't have miss call assault sorry we don't have a lot to get from here we actually aren't going to get anything from here but we are going to get two skills from Fist of Elements we're gonna get Anima, 5 points on Anima and Illuminated, Illuminated Fist 1 point on Illuminated Fist just so we get Soul Fire which is our main elemental damage and the extra me melee damage which is always good so on Brawl the name says it all what are we going to get from Brawl? So, we're going to get 5 points on Clarity. Now, why? Why are we getting Clarity? Clarity is our most important skill for survivability. The constant health regeneration is going to help us tank all the damage that comes our way so we don't have to worry about, you know, going to hit someone with a melee and dying. It might happen, but thanks to Clarity, it probably won't. So, we're gonna get five points on Root to Rise because her best brawl skill tree is when she's tanking. And you're going to constantly be taking damage, so it's nice that you can tank that damage. And Root to Rise works well with Clarity because the higher your health, the more health you're going to regenerate, which is always good. So, 3 points on Samsara, which is good because you get more health regeneration, and you know, that's always good. You're gonna get 5 points on Helping Hands, because since you're constantly going to tank damage, and you're constantly going to use your action skill, it's nice to tank some damage, and it might don't seem like a lot, but it is a whole lot, and you're gonna tank a lot of damage. We're gonna get 3 points on Vigor, because the faster you can get to the enemies, the better it is for you, so that you don't die. And find your center, because of the extra melee, melee damage, it's always good. And 3 points on Mindfulness, so that you get more movement speed, speed so you can get close on your enemies, which is always good. And 5 points on 1 with Nature because of the extra health and the extra survivability because the, of the elemental damage reduction so we're going to put three points on jab cross one point on guardian angel and one point on do unto others you know what actually we're gonna get five on jab cross and one on blitz okay so here here first do unto others what's what what is good about this one this is a good skill because Every time an enemy that is further away from you hits you, the elemental orb is going to chase it down and it's going to do a lot of damage. And if it doesn't kill it, it's going to get real close to it. So it's just great. Jab cross it's good because of the action skill damage. You're going to get a lot more damage from your action skill, which is always good as well. Guardian Angel is great because you don't have to worry about dying when you go into fight for your life and not having another, you know, not having a weapon on you that can help you. Because this is really, really a full on melee build. You're not gonna use weapons at all. It's very, very hard for you to use weapons. And Blitz, because of the extra melee damage and the uh, melee override, it's always good to have it. And I still have 4 points, so where do we point this? Where do we put these 4 points? Okay, so extra splash damage is good. 
So okay, let's get four points on extra splash damage. Always nice. Now from here you can get rush. You can get violent tapestry, which could be good. I don't think it's gonna help you a lot, so I just rather stay on brawl. Okay, so now for the items. Her items are pretty straightforward. Butt plug is a melee pistol with 110% melee damage, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the second highest melee damage on the game. I could be wrong, and it could be the highest, but I'm not sure. So, for now, we are running butt plug. I have Sleeping Giant for whenever you a corrosive slip giant for I don't know if you find some enemy that has an armor and you don't want to switch for corrosive damage you can just okay so we're going to go over the damage and her skills in just a second you can just use a good corrosive weapon and it's gonna do just fine another one for shields it's not gonna you're not gonna need it at all and I have a Layuda because right now I think the Layuda is the most broken weapon in the game. It deals so much damage. And there's a very specific boss which the Layuda is going to help us. So I'm going to show it later. Now for her lower items. The Brawler Ward. A low level Brawler Ward. Uh, why low level? Because it's going to be a lot easier for it to break. And you're going to get the same bonus which is... 300% melee damage bonus, is, which is just ridiculous, and you're gonna see action, and it's gonna be great. I like using Untamed Avenger for the slight bonus on action cooldown, skill rate, and movement speed, which is always nice, and health regeneration as well. Grenade mods are not really important, so whatever, you don't have to worry about that, and I prefer to use the flesh melter commander planetoid okay great why because it has this bonus elemental damage whenever you melee an, an enemy so why is that good because the elemental type changes every five seconds and that helps a lot because we're going to do constantly different elemental damage on anything and that's gonna you're going to see how much damage how much damage we're going to do and you're gonna see just why this is so good but if you think that your survivability is just not that good or if you're not dealing that much damage you can run the lifesteal one the melee lifesteal and it's gonna be there are specific bosses which will need the melee lifesteal relic but not to worry right now so Okay, now for our action skills. Why did we put our points here? Well, first of all, so we can unlock Soul Fire, which is going to be our main damage, because fire damage is just overall better for anything, basically. And you're gonna see one of the exceptions at the end of the video. And your other options are, if you click on the elemental damage, you're gonna take it off, and the default damage you deal is shock which is good for lots of situations as well but for this run we are going fire now action skill what is better and in my opinion right now I like using fracture because of the overall damage with revelation because of the nova damage and we're going to get lots of enemies with it, we're going to do lots of damages with it, and our elemental damage is going to be just as nice. So, okay, I think that's about it for the items. You get a good idea of what it does, what it means. I don't have anything to worry about as far as weapon goes, so let's just see how it fares against the melee one troops and I like running Athenians because I think we're going to see a lots of we're going to see lots of different resistances to damage and we're going to we're going to we're going to see a lot of hard enemies to kill but you're going to see in a second that melee Amaro doesn't have a problem with killing 
absolutely anything. She's a beast. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Alright, so I like playing on Mayhem on and there we go. Hit kill. And as you can see it's just absurd amount of damage. We're constantly doing elemental damage on any anything, basically. And our orb damage is good. Okay, so this is a situation. We have a fire resistant enemy. We're gonna deal with it later. Right now let's just kill everything else. And as you can see, it's really hard for her to go down and Guardian Angel saves her a lot. Now because he resists fire, you would think that okay, let's kill that guy first. Since he resists fire you fire, you would think, okay, so we have Fire Fist equipped, so we're not gonna do damage with it. So here's the thing, that relic we are using is gonna absolutely murder him. He resists a bit, but still, he goes down. And he's gonna be our second win here, there we go. Okay, so, pretty much one hit on anything, if not a hit on anything. We really don't have to worry about dying, because she thinks it she takes a lot of damage without having to worry so it's always good to save your action skill in case you want to if you need more health or if you need anything else because when you cast it your health regeneration goes up which is always good and as you can see not many problems not hard at all to kill anything her damage is just so ridiculous that you don't have to worry about it okay so second enemy gallery let's see how it goes that guy right there okay so frost damage frost damage is bad because it's not a constant damage it's just a one-time thing and you just get slower let's get close cast our action skill shoots down dead 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 her damage is just ridiculous and because of mindfulness you constantly get more movement speed so you can get closer enemies a lot faster which is always good and as you can see you don't have to worry about much at all you can try to run it on to run it on mayhem 3 but it's just going to be boring because mayhem 3 is overall awful to play that's just my opinion because everything resists everything okay so here we go nearly a hit kill on anything okay so that orb right there nearly killed that guy as you can see our action skills constantly going up so we don't have to we don't have to worry about that at all and your survivability is great you don't have to worry about dying and if you are about to die pop your action skill let's see okay guardian agent save us there you see why it's so great and Melee overall is just a lot of fun because it's a different way to play the game and you don't have to worry about farming a lot of good things. If you had a 40% or a 60% melee damage it would be just as good as this, the 110%. And there we go. Her damage is absurd, her health regeneration is absurd, her movement speed is absurd. You don't have to worry about nearly anything and it's just a lot of fun to play her like this and oh boy how am I... Mm, nope okay so I'm gonna go for Trout the boss as you can see the orb there kill him which is always good so I'm going for a Trout so you can see how she fares against a boss okay so we're getting there and Okay, so we're getting there, and for Tron, it's a good example on different elemental damage on your melee ability. So fire is not going to do because we resi he resists it. So we're going shock, which should be enough. And another thing is he deals a lot of damage. As you can see, he nearly kills us, and our health is going down pretty fast. So what do we do? We change our damage relic for our survivability relic and look at that health we just we can tank it as if it's nothing 
And that's the thing for most of the bosses. You can tank a lot of damage and you can regain a lot of health. So it shouldn't be a problem. As you can see, we're going to get Guardian, Guardian Angel here. There we go. And he just takes it, the damage. And it's just broken. It's, of course, there are guns that are going to do a lot more damage. But melee damage is a lot of fun. And this is an example of how you can kill bosses using just melee. I have killed Tyreen. There is a video on my channel of me killing Tyreen. And what did you drop? What is that? Ooh. Okay, so we just got an upgrade. An upgrade that I didn't think I would get. And I'm actually really happy for it. And that's great. Now I'm going to show the the boss I was talking about, which is going to be a pain in the ass for her. So let's go there. Okay, so this is the boss fight that I was talking about which really doesn't fare well against her melee build, the Grave Ward. It's just a overall boring fight for her as a melee because her elemental skill tree is a lot better to deal with this boss in particular. But since we're not using it, it's just this fight right here. You should avoid her melee build with this guy. And that's it. So this is it for Amelia Amaro. If you have any tips, any tricks that I didn't show her, I didn't talk about, feel free to comment, feel free to tell me. And thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.